Hi my friends and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this right here is Priscilla. The video today has been requested many times and this is because browning or yellowing of the leaves is super common in a dracaena plant. I have already made a full guide on how to take care of this beautiful plant so I recommend that you check it out. But in this video we will specifically focus on brown and yellow leaves in this plant, some of the most common causes and how to fix it. Okay, coming up! plant beginner and I learn about my houseplants every day so this channel is to share with you what I learned so if you're interested in learning how to take care of your houseplants how to display them or even how to connect with them make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants but now let's get to the video so sometimes having yellow leaves on your plant may be a part of the natural growing cycle especially if the leaves are at the base of the plant as your plant grows the leaves at the base will turn yellow to actually give space for new growth so all you have to do is gently pull them out to remove them of course yellow leaves and brown leaves can also be a sign that your plant is not super happy especially if these leaves are in the middle or the top of the plant so let's look at some of the most common causes for this unhealthy growth number one dry air remember this plant is a tropical plant so they really like humidity around them so if you have your plant in a room where the air is very dry or for example close to a heating register where the air is also very dry she will not be happy you can increase humidity by placing this plant close to other tropical plants they actually help each other out with humidity levels another way to increase humidity is putting the plant on a humidity tray or close to a humidifier Number two, bad quality of the water. Tap water in many areas around the world has many chemicals. For example, here in Berlin, the water is really hard. And this plant is super sensitive to hard water, especially if the water has fluoride or chlorine, for example. So in order to prevent giving these chemicals to your plant, what you can do is either use filtered water or rain water. If you do use tap water, I recommend that you put it in a bucket for about 24 to 48 hours before before using it to water your plant. This will make sure that some of the chemicals are released and then you can use it to water. Number three, overwatering. Unfortunately, this is a very common problem, not only with the Dracaena, but with many other plants. We don't want to overwater our plant. So in order to prevent this, you can do many things. First, make sure that the pot where you have your Dracaena in has drainage holes. This will make sure that the water drains down when you water your plant. Second thing that you can do to prevent overwatering is to make sure that the potting mix has good drainage. So a general recommendation is to have 50% organic soil and 50% perlite for good drainage. The third thing you can do to not overwater your plant is to check with your finger every week. So this plant actually needs moderate watering. So what I do is that every week I check with my finger I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle and once I feel that the soil is dry, then I water. So you want to make sure that you let the soil dry in between waterings. That way you don't overwater your plant. And I love to water my plant with the bottom watering method. This method really helps me get the water into the roots from below, but also when I'm done the water drains down. So I make sure that the soil is moist but not wet. Number four pests. So in order to prevent pests, I actually clean my plant every week. So it's part of my weekly routine with my plant, so I always check the leaves from the top and the bottom, and then I use organic soap in order to clean them. If you do find pests in your plant, what I do is first you give her a shower with high pressure water, and then you can use neem oil diluted in water. So make sure that you spray the leaves and the soil. And I recommend to keep checking every week until you don't see any pests. Number five, underwatering. So sometimes because we don't want to overwater our plant, then we underwater her. So in order to make sure that I'm giving the appropriate amount of water to this plant, I always check the soil. Once I feel that the soil is dry, then I water and I use the bottom watering method. This way I make sure that the water gets to the roots, but I don't overwater my plant. 
Okay my friends, so these are some of the most common problems that cause yellowing or browning of the leaves in our dracaenas. If you have any other questions or tips, make sure to comment below so we can learn together. Also, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao!